All right. <coughs> are we live? Are we live? We should be live in this bit. Oh. Today is chest day. Right now, today, today, today is chest day, and I'm doing a machine incline right now. So I'm starting off with machine incline. What up? What up, Kev? What up, Ben? What up, Ben? So today I'm starting off with chest uh, incline right now. So we just gonna get straight into it, man. No stalling, no, no hesitation, no nothing, man. Chest day, get these games. Let's get it. Shout out to the 10 people that's in here. So right now, oh, let me see y'all chat. What up, what up, what up, what up V6, v what up Ben, what up Kev, I see y'all up in here. So right now, I'm literally just getting to the gym. I just did like some shoulder shrugs and everything. But I'm starting off as a warm up set. 115 pounds. What up Jova, what up, what up, what up, what up, what up? what's up, what's up, what's up? And then, we're gonna do about four, four or five sets of these. Uh, kick that in there. We do about four or five sets. The uh, first two set. Why does this shit keep keep zooming in, bro? Stop, stop zooming in. Zoom out. Zoom out. Out, <laughs> bro. Bro. Bro, <laughs> this camera want to act like a. All right, there we go. Uh, this camera acting like stupid as hell. But all right, so we got 10, 12 reps on that one. I increased the weight. We're gonna do about 10, definitely 10 minimum. But we're gonna try to go to 12. All right, let's get it. Uh. So we got two sets of those. I'ma do I'ma do two I'ma do two exercises of of uh, incline. Then I'm going to do another set of uh, machine bench press, and then I'm going to do decline. No. Damn. They don't even have the um, flies here. Well, normally, normally I like doing chest flies, but they don't even have the fly machine here. So we got to improvise. We gotta improvise, man. Make sure y'all hit that like button, man, on y'all way in, man. We got 12 people in here. Make sure y'all hit that like button. Live chest workout today. Already did two sets. So on the third set, we always gonna increase the weight. I'm at 135. Now we're about to do one. Let's, let's bump this bitch up to 160, all right? 160, all right? Now. Now, how, how I like to work out? Damn, this bitch is fine in the motherfucker. Hold on, hold on, God damn, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait until you see this girl walk in front of me. Oh, Lord have mercy, Jesus. Yeah. Oh, Lord, Jesus. God, 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 
hey, <laughs> hey, but anyway, um, <laughs> like I was saying, um, I lost track of what I was about to say. Oh yeah, uh, when I warm up, I like to do at least like 10 to 12 reps for like my first two sets, and then I like to do heavyweights for about six to eight reps, you know what I'm saying? So I can get the best of both worlds. So I can make sure that I'm getting my strength in. Strength has to do with how many reps you have. Power is how much weight you lift. So I like to implement both strength training and weight and power training at the same damn time. So now we got the heavy weight on it. So we can get six, six to eight reps. Six to eight reps, all right? We got seven. We got seven. Seven's good enough. Seven's good enough. As long as we get to anywhere from six, six, seven, or eight. Six is the is the bare minimum. You gotta do six. But if I can do one more, if I can get six, seven to eight, then we in good business, man. Shout out to everybody up in the building, man. We got 14 people up in here. I am doing chest today. I am I'm hitting the incline. Boom, incline right here. Today, I'm doing all machine work. I'm doing all machine work. Some, some days I like doing machine. Some days I, I like doing dumbbells. Some days I like doing flat bench. I just, I, just, I just like to mix it up, you know what I'm saying? So, But today, I'm gonna do all machine today. All machine today. And then probably next week, I'll probably do all dumbbells. Then the week, after that, I'll probably do flat bench. You know what I'm saying? So let's get it, man. We got we got one more set of this incline, and then and then we're gonna hit a different angle of incline. All right, so yeah. we got one more. Hey, I'm feeling pumped already, man. Yeah. First set, my first set, my chest feeling pumped already, man. Like my chest is already feeling pumped. But that's good though. All right, here we go. Six, six to eight reps, six to eight reps. Let's go. Set just for the hell of it. So, so a burnout set. I normally do that at the last set. I go extremely light, 50, 50 pounds, and then I'm just gonna do as many reps as I can. And that shit right there, it's gonna burn your chest up, bro. So I'm gonna do as many reps as I can. Moving on, moving on, moving on. The first exercise I'm doing, if y'all just got in here, is the incline machine. 
incline chest. That was the first exercise that I did. Now we're moving on. Now we're going. Damn. Is he done? Or is he finished? <laughs> I feel like I'm Birdman in this bitch. Or you done? Or you finished? I think he's finished and he's done. Uh, yeah, I think he's done. Cause he's looking stupid. All right. He looking stupid. He looking lost. All right, here we go. Moving on. Now we're doing this machine right here. The wide chest. Let me get this set up right here. We're getting the wide chest, as you see. So we're gonna work on the width of my chest, all right? Can't even see me. All right, here we go. Just a warm up. That was a little warm-up set. Now I got three plates on that bitch. Yo, 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 what up, what up? Now we got three plates on that bitch. This is, this is still a little warm-up, you know what I'm saying? And we gonna get, we gonna get about 12 reps of this too. Yo, what up, soulmate in this thing? Do push-ups. I do push-ups at the end of my workout. At the end of my workout, that's when I do my push-ups. What's the best exercise to do at home? <laughs> Bro, there's, there's a lot of exercises to do at home. You gotta be a little bit more specific. There's, there's tons of exercises you can do at home. Yo D, also on his gaming channel. Yes, yes sir, you already know, man. All right, so here we go. <clears throat> here we go. Motherfucker. Alright, here we go. Stay, bitch. Alright, here we go. This girl right here is so goddamn fine. Hey, thank me later. Oh my goodness, girl. I would. Oh, 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 I love going to the gym, man. That is fine. Oh, 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 oh. Alright. Here we go.
We got four in them hoes. So now on this one, right? God damn. Bro, I hate this fucking camera. It fucking zooms up when it wants to. All right. So on this one, what we gonna do is I'm gonna try to do, I'm gonna try to do at least three regular reps, which is, you know, push, push out this way, right? And then I'm gonna do three ISO to hold reps. And what that is, is I'm gonna push out on, on one, I'm gonna keep one still, and I'm gonna isolate the other side and do three reps. And once I get done with that three reps, I'm gonna hold that left side open, and then I'm gonna do the other three on the other side. If you didn't understand what I'm saying, I'm about to show you exactly what I'm saying, all right? So, like I said, I'm gonna do three full reps. I'm gonna do three full reps. Then I'm gonna do three reps of hold ISO. All right, so let me show you all what I'm talking about. right there will definitely help you get stronger because when you when you holding that weight in a stationary movement and you have to keep it there you burning all sorts of muscle fire you killing all sorts of shit man like you really burn that shit out and then you gotta do that on each side that shit right there Whew. it's a motherfucker what uh, machines would you recommend to lose belly, belly fat when you're at the gym? What machines? A machine is not gonna make you lose body fat or, or be belly fat. Exercising, cardio, and diet is gonna make you lose, lose body fat. I mean, belly fat, belly fat, right? If that's what your main thing is. A machine is not gonna make you lose you know, body fat. Un belly fat, unless you do like, you know, stair masters or ellipticals or, you know, stair, stair wheels or something like that. But like, you know, uh, dumbbells and stuff like that is not gonna make you lo lose belly fat, you know. Diet and cardio is gonna make you lose belly fat. All right, so. <sighs> Let me catch my breath. And we gonna, we gonna do that again. Um, what is the benefit of doing that? Like I said, it's the best of both worlds. You are stimulating your muscle by holding and contracting that muscle. You're going to get stronger over time. Because when you hold and you push and you keep that strength up, that's different because you're not resting. You're not resting at any point. So your muscles is continuously, continuously moving. And then on the, on the other side, while you got this side hold it up, you're doing this, you're working that side. Then when you get done with that, you gotta you gotta rotate it. So you're killing all sorts of muscle fibers and you're building up strength. 
All right, so let me try to do this again, even though this is a heavy weight that I typically don't do this on, but we gonna do it today though. You know what I'm saying? All right, so three full reps. When you're done with three, you hold this one up, do three like this. Huh. Hold that one up, do three like this. If y'all would have seen what I just seen, God. <laughs> bro, hold, hold on. Time out, bro. Time, time out. Hold on. I go. I gotta go for a walk for this one. Bro, what the hell was that? Hold up, hold up. I gotta get some water, bro. I got. What the? F huh. Time out. Flag on the play. Let me get some water. Damn. Damn. Oh, I'm Shh. I ain't never seen that. Bro. <laughs> Bro. God damn. I ain't never seen her around here. Excuse me. All right. Anyway, I just, I just, I just lost my train of thought. <laughs> I just lost my train of thought, bro. That shit was crazy. Lord have mercy. Um, yeah. <laughs> so I don't even know where I, I left off. Oh yeah, I'm gonna do the, I'm gonna do this one more time. That's gonna be, that's gonna be my, um, that's gonna be my, um my how many how many times i do that that's gonna be my fourth set and then on my last set i'm gonna do a drop down set and what a and what a drop down set is i got four plates i'm gonna do as many reps as i can and then i'm gonna take off one plate do as many reps as i can do another plate take out another plate do as many reps as i can take out another plate do as many reps as i can and then do another plate I don't know who the hell that was, bro. <laughs> I ain't never seen her at the gym, but all right, here we go. How long has, has this been? Drop down set, yeah. We're doing drop down set, all right? So that's what we're after. We're doing drop down set. So I'm doing as many reps as I can, right? As many reps as I can for four, take down one plate, as many reps, as many reps, as many reps. All right, so let's get it.
there we go with that that's my last set of that so that's what i do typically at the end of every exercise bro what is today it's today ass day at the gym like <laughs> bro is it is it fucking ass day at the gym god damn bro if y'all would have seen what i would have what i saw if you god damn that shit still got me bugging out but yeah that right there that right there is a drop down set all right a drop set so 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 what i do is i had four plates i did about six six maybe seven reps i took down to three plates i think i did about eight nine reps i took down another plate then i had two plates left i did about fucking 12 or something like that then i did then i only had one plate and i burned that out for like 20 reps so yeah my chest is like pounding right now <sighs> all right so that's two exercises all right and so now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna do another chest another um another um i'm trying to figure out which which um exercise am i gonna do because he's on the bench press right here oh no he's not is he done i think he's done yeah i think he's done yeah, I think he's done. All right, hold on one second. All right. Uh, that looks painful. Yeah, it is painful. It definitely is painful. Bootleg booty. What was she? She was a light skin. She was a. She was a yellow bone. She was red. Uh, what do I do for recovery? Honestly, I don't really do nothing for recovery. I just pretty much, I just pretty much, I pretty much just, just eat and rest. Right now, I'm not, I'm not taking any supplements. Uh, shit. Right now, right now, I'm not taking any supplements, any anything. I'm, I'm literally no pre-workout, no nothing. I'm just doing this as natural. And I wanna see how naturally strong I can be without any supplements, you know what I'm saying? So, for recovery, I just fucking eat and sleep. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Most people tear up, it's good to take the week off if needed that's cool. yeah that's true you know i work out i i give myself at least like two days of of, of rest a week so that's what you do just 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 fully let your body recuperate but don't take too long of a break you know what i'm saying because if you take too long of a break then you're going to lose some of your gains and you're going and you're going to lose some of your strength a week off every month if you can nah i wouldn't say that like the only time i took a week off is probably like shh, every four to five months like it's 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 very rare of me to take a full week off like maybe one week i maybe take like two or three days off but like seven whole days of 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 not working out is that's a long ass time and you will get weaker trust me you will get weaker if you take a full week off of non lifting weights but like i don't take that that long of a rest but anyway let me get this exercise in and i'm gonna show y'all what i'm doing so i'm pretty much be going doing the same thing but i'm going to be doing more of an iso
All right. So that's 10 reps all together. I did five full, full reps and five ISO. Now I'm gonna add maybe like the 25, 25 plates, which is 50 pounds all together. And I'm gonna try to do the same thing. Uh, so you're saying you have no days off? Bruh, y'all not listen to me. I said I at least take one or two days off a week. You know what I'm saying? Like normally, my off days are my weekends. I don't work out on Sundays. I never, I never work out on Sundays. And if I do work out on Saturday, it's something real light. It's something real, real, real light. But Monday through Friday is when I do my heavy compound movements. It's when I really, really, really work out. But if I do something Saturday, it's really light, nothing too, nothing too crazy. Um, and on Sunday, I rest like for the whole day. Um, how can you, how can you get your stomach flat and gain muscle at the same time? By your diet. It's all about what you eat, man. It's all about what you eat. Especially if you're trying to think, think like this, bro. Food goes directly to your stomach after you eat or when you eat. So whatever you consume in your body, if it doesn't replenish or replenish your muscle fibers or your blood system or whatever it's doing, you want to eat food to benefit you, not just to feel full, not just to feel satisfied. You want to eat food to fill your body, all right? That's more of a psychological thing more than anything. You know, people eat to feel full people eat to feel satisfied yeah that's the case but if you really want to get results you should eat the foods that's going to help you benefit to get the results that you want you know what i'm saying so if you're eating bullshit food if you're eating fast food if you're eating all that bullshit you're going to look like bullshit you know what i'm saying but if you eat the right proper foods the right carbs the, the healthy fast the healthy proteins then over time you're going to get the results that you're trying to get. You know what I'm saying? So let me get back to my workout real quick. Same thing. Same exact thing. Same exact thing. I'm going to try to do five for five. I'm going to try to do five for five, even though I put 50 more pounds on. tripping about that I couldn't do really I couldn't do 10 but I added more I, I added 50 more pounds on it so I could only do nine you know what I mean so I ain't really tripping on that <sighs> uh, easier said easier said than done working out is easy diet is the hard part facts diet is definitely the hard part diet is as they say abs work in the kitchen, abs are made in the kitchen, which is true because whatever you consume goes straight to your body, goes, goes straight to your belly. So if you're eating all that processed food, you're eating all that sugar, you're eating all that fat, that fat that you're eating is not helping your body. It's just gonna sit in your stomach and it's gonna build, it's gonna build, it's gonna keep collecting all that shit and it's not burning anything. That's how fat is stored. Because the food that you're eating is not being absorbed. It's not being distributed throughout your body. So all that bullshit that you're eating 
It's just sitting in your belly. Like literally just sitting in your belly. Storing fat, storing fat because your body can't break that food down. So you want to eat food that, that your body can break down, can absorb it, use it, and then flush it out. That's exactly what you need to eat for, all right? So, ah, let me get another set in. Let's get it. It's funny, like people, people always say, D, I want to build muscle. D, I want to have your body. D, I want to be bigger. Do you really? <laughs> Do you really, bro? Do you know how much pain and suffering you got to put your body through to even get to this? And then when you get it, you got to maintain it. But this is not fucking easy, bro. Shit is not easy. Ah. Let me get some water, shit. Let me get some goddamn water. My mouth is dried in a bitch. We got, we got one more exercise and then we're gonna be done. One more exercise and we're gonna be done. Ah. All right. Should you swim for recovery? Most definitely. I would say swimming. I would go, I would go in a steam room. Steam room is definitely good for recovery. The sauna, anything like that would definitely help you recover as far as like your your soreness goes so yeah swimming definitely works it's sitting in a hot jacuzzi hot steam room or a sauna definitely will you know re it will relax your muscles and help that um soreness go down a lot better so those are some of the things that you can do as far as like recovery goes We got, we got one more. Um, they don't even have my exercise here anymore. Damn. They don't even have it no more, bro. Fuck. 
Motherfucker, they don't even have it here no more. Ah! Well, you know what? Damn! They don't even have it here no more. Fuck! Um. Um. Damn. We just. We're just gonna do these right here, all right? We're gonna do these right here. This is the last exercise that we're gonna do. It's the chest flies, all right? We're gonna do the chest flies. Normally, I would do it on the machine, but they have the machine, so we're just gonna do it on this right here, so. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do 10 full reps. After I get done with those 10 full reps, I'm going to do 10 mini reps. So that's 20 reps all together. And I'm going to do that for four sets. All right. Um, how about super cold water? If you can stand that, you know what I'm saying? I don't like doing that because I don't like freezing. I would rather be hot than being cold. But definitely, uh, if you can... If you can, you know, <laughs> deal with the coldness, deal with like an ice, ice bath water. If you can deal with it, then then yeah. But I personally don't like to be fucking cold. I would rather be hot than cold. I, I would rather sit in a sauna than just sit in a fucking big ass bucket of cold water and cold ice. You know what I'm saying? But that's just my preference. You know what I'm saying? But this is what we're going to do. We're gonna do 10 full reps, then 10 mini reps. 10 full reps, 10 mini reps. Now see, I don't like doing this on this machine because I can't really go far back because that machine doesn't let me go as far back as I normally want to. But it's gonna have to do because they don't have the exercise that I normally do it on because I normally do this exercise on a, a chest fly. But they don't actually have the chest fly machine here, but you gotta do what you gotta do, you know what I'm saying? So this is always, this is always my um, finishing chest move, is the chest flies. I do 10 full reps, then 10 mini reps for four sets. So in actuality, that's 20, 20 steps each, each set. So that's 80 reps all together. All right, so let's get it. I just added some more weight. I'm on... Uh, 1380 right now. Let's get it. Uh, which protein do you recommend? I recommend always eating your protein. It's one thing about supplements that people need to understand is it's a supplement. It's supposed to supplement your food if you're not able to actually eat the food. It's not, it, it, should, it should never be, it should never be your, your uh, focus point of consuming anything. I always preach eating your protein. So eating your protein would be eating beans, chicken, turkey, any kind of healthy lean meat, all right? Shrimp, seafood, salmon, brown meat, turkey meat, anything like that. But, of course, protein shakes are good as well. But I always say eat as much protein or eat as much carbs or eat as much calories as you can. Then at the end of the day, if you don't feel like cooking or 
you're on the road or whatever the case may be, then you go to your protein shake. If you don't, go for your protein shake for your only source of protein, if that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? All right. Listen to my rotation. All right, so I got two more sets of those and then I'll be done for the day. Then I'm about to go and eat my protein. <laughs> I'm not gonna go home and drink a protein shake. I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna actually go to this place that I always go to on Mondays. Matter of fact, my next video will be that, all right? So the video that you see tomorrow is the food that I'm gonna eat for my post-workout meal, like how I did on my other live and I showed you what I ate for my purse for my post workout meal when I did that um, shrimp and protein base uh, blend that's what I'm gonna do for this video so I'm gonna show you exactly what I eat tomorrow on my video tomorrow that I'm gonna eat today and as I said you know what I'm saying always try to consume your protein, try to consume your fats, try to consume your carbs through food. Food, food, food should be your number one resource outlet of nutrition. Then comes the supplements. Supplement is supposed to supplement the food, not, not replace it. Not replace the food, it's just to make it easier and more convenient for you to get your protein if you're not able to get it through your food. You feel what I'm saying? So, let's get it. We got one more set and I'm done. We got one more set then I'll be done. So I hope y'all learned something from this from this live. In tomorrow video, I will be showing y'all what I'm eating for my post workout that I'm eating today. So one more damn set. My mouth is dry. I need to drink some water. This is here, I've been banging out this last set so I can go eat because I'm hungry than a motherfucker. All right, last set. I'm done for the day. <laughs> for the recovery, K. Yeah, facts. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know your boy, Damn D, will be on that Call of Duty later on tonight. But once I get done with this, I gotta go go eat. Then I gotta go upload my video for an unboxing. Then we gonna go live, you know what I'm saying? Call of Duty definitely gonna be up next as far as the live for tonight. So yeah, Call of Duty live tonight. Last set, let's get it. Oh. Uh. 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 
That's it, man. I'm out this bitch. Time to go eat, bro. I'm hungry. My mouth is dry. I'm tired. Oh, yeah. Whew. All right, man. All right. Shit. Hey, hopefully I'll come out here in that grass that I hear. Nah, I'm just fine. But anyway, done my workout. I'm about to go eat. So I hope y'all learned something, man. Take notes of what I did today. That's exactly my chest workout for today. You know what I'm saying? And um, that's about it, man. I'm about to go eat. Woo. And yeah, I'm about to go home. Well, I'm about to go to this place, eat, go home, upload my video for today on my sneaker channel. And then later on tonight, I definitely will be um, uh, on Call of Duty. What's a good snack for late night cravings? Um, I would say um, it just depends. I always fruit is always good, but people always say that fruit still has sugar in it, but it's still natural sugar. It's not processed sugar. You know what I'm saying? Like the fruit that you eat from sugars is just gonna run through your system and it's gonna go out your system. You know what I'm saying? I've never heard in my life of people getting fat off of eating too much fruit. You know what I'm saying? So I would say something fruit, um, something that has uh, low carbs because you definitely don't want to, you definitely don't want to go to sleep that has something, eating something that's going to be heavy, you know, um, just something light, maybe some chips, you know, chips that are very low in fat, low in carbs, you know what I'm saying? Drink some water. Water will always get you full. And, um, you know, just just keep it light. You know what I'm saying? Keep it light. But other than that, man, yeah, man, I'm about to get my grub on. And uh, i catch y'all on my sneaker channel today. I will be uploading a video today on my sneaker channel. And then later on tonight, your boy will be on that Call of Duty later on tonight. But other than that, man, I hope y'all enjoyed the live workout today. Hope y'all learned something. Hope y'all gain some knowledge and uh i'm out this day man i'll see y'all tomorrow peace man